When Muhammad Hagras was a baby, his father started this beekeeping business. Muhammad grew up among bees, learning about them and the important role they play in food security. The young man isn't at all afraid and stands close to the hives without any protective gear. It all started as a hobby, seeing how many bees would settle on his body. I didn't invent this idea. People across the world do it, usually in competitions held by apiary associations. But here in Egypt, it's not that well known, so it's getting a lot of attention. A Chinese man holds the Guinness World Record for having more than 100 kilograms of bees covering his whole body. Who knows, maybe I can challenge that. In the meantime, Mohammed is hoping to shed some light on the important role bees play. The extraction and packaging of honey may be the most well-known aspect of beekeeping, but many industries depend on bees. 60 to 70,000 young Egyptians work at apiaries. All these hives used to be full of bees, but they died. December and January are the worst months. The weather is cold and we don't plant crops to harvest in winter. The only other way of feeding them is with sugar. And since sugar prices have skyrocketed, it's non-profitable. And that's not all. We'll face a massive crisis if bee populations die out. Pollination will decrease, affecting crops, harvests and food security. Although he tried to approach authorities, Mohammed says no one was interested. He needed an out-of-the-box idea and he found it literally in one of these boxes. The trick is to capture the queen of the bees so that the hive would know she's missing. And once Mohammed puts it with a string on his chin, he approaches the hive, now the bees can smell their queen and quickly they go to surround her. This fascinating sight is spreading around the world. Mohammed has succeeded in getting the media's attention. Now he hopes Egyptian authorities will respond and do something to ensure the survival of these precious insects. Adel Mahroui, CCTV, Shibin al Egypt.